we're getting closer to the coastline as you can see over. We're in Lima. This was my airport look. Little Drift Avenue cardigan, tank air tank top, and then with jean sweatpants. So this is the room. This is our beautiful shower and mirror. This is our view. I already am like falling in love with Peru. Like I'm literally like crying. Like look how beautiful it is. You guys, we're gonna eat good. We're gonna eat very good this trip. Like Peruvian food is like world renowned, like very delicious. So we're gonna eat fucking good. Nuestra Carta. We walked 30 minutes to get here. I'm wearing a set from Motel and my ballet flats. I really forgot, but I got them on Farfetch. This was our first day in Peru and we had some ceviche and it was so fresh and so nice to have after a long flight. And then we went to Maita. That was the most delicious dinner ever. And we had this amazing, amazing fish and we had just all the sauces. There was like a curry sauce and it was just absolutely divine. We are going on a boat tour. A boat tour. And we're gonna be swimming with sea lions. I'm not swimming, but yes, yes you are. Hey guys, so we're at a juice place next to our hotel. Getting our greens in. Gave okay, about a strawberry one. This was our second day and it was absolutely amazing. We went on a boat tour and we went to go see some sea lions and Hunka was like, we have to go see them. <laughs> I didn't go in, but he went in and it was just an absolutely beautiful day. And to see the sunset, it was just fully a magical, magical day. Hi vlog, we're back from the sea lion <laughs> tour. I didn't go in the ocean because like I personally was not feeling it <laughs> and i don't know kind of scary i'm like not a huge fan of like like i love animals but it, it kind of creeps me out and it scares me especially when it's like a huge body of water i don't know rag and bone top zara pants rag and bone shoes rag and bone everything okay Actually, I'm not as tired as I would expect. Gabe, how are you doing? I slept a while. Yeah, same. So I'm actually not that bad. Also, we didn't realize there was a time difference, so that could be it too, Gabe. Remember? Mm-hmm. Yesterday, we were so exhausted. Like, we couldn't even process. But dinner was so good. We went to Maita. If you're in Lima, go to Maita. Like, best restaurant I've ever been to in my life, I think, by far. And ooh, Gabe, what's that smell? What's the smell? <laughs> ooh, you need the you need the full bottle of that. Hi vlog. I'm drinking a black coffee because there's no milk. So, but it's fine. It actually is really good. I'm like. Wait, black coffee's not too shabby. Um, we have a food tour all day, which I'm so excited about. If you guys know me, you guys know me clearly, obviously, if we're besties. But I have, like, I'm a foodie and I love food and I love trying new food. So, this was my favorite day out of the whole trip. We went to a town called Barranco, which was in the area of Lima, Peru. And the streets were filled with colorful walls and just the history and the art of this town was just so amazing. And we got to try so many different types of foods and we learned how to make ceviche and we learned how to make pisco sours. It was just overall the best day ever. And I literally need to come back just to go to Barranco.
Look at me shaking the Pisco Sour and Hunka. It was honestly the most fun day. We just literally enjoyed ourselves so, so much. Just bucket list day. Then we went paragliding and it was such a surreal experience just to be over Lima and just see everything. It was actually one of my biggest fears, but Gabe pushed me to do it. We just did paragliding. We're alive. We landed safely. We landed safely. Vlog, I was so scared. This is like one of my biggest fears, but I did it. First day in Cusco, Peru, and it was beautiful. Our hotel was stunning, and there was so much history here. It was actually insane, and I loved, loved every single part of Cusco. The streets were so narrow, everything was so beautiful, and this was at the start of the Machu Picchu journey. Our first day in Cusco consisted of so many archaeological tours and there were just so many sites to see and the history in Peru, it was just amazing and just seeing everything that the Incas did, it was just a beautiful way to be immersed into a historical aspect of life. actually see the train like actually at the railroad and we're very close we ordered what's this called again it's on, the, it's on the back chicha morada chicha morada which are these show the camera your, your drink which are these purple drinks gabe got just like normal chicha morada and i got one with lemonade like a mix It's really good, 10 out of 10. because we have dinner soon and then we're walking to the market. I'm just gonna do concealer because we had to pack everything in a backpack. We left our suitcases in our hotel back in Cusco. Um, but I'm just gonna do like really light makeup, honestly. Almost like sunburnt makeup. Like, this is from Love Shack Fancy and then the shoes are Dolce & Gabbana, vintage Dolce. And yeah, now we're ready to go.
Oaina Chu. Oaina Pichu. Oaina Pichu. Machu Pichu. Wachu Pichu. And a lot of other Pichus. <laughs> Ding at Chulos. Super cute in here. And this is our view. They've got alpaca and guinea pig. Peruvian cuisine. <laughs> Hi vlog, I just showered. I got so dark, I don't know what happened. Um, if you go to Peru, wear sunscreen. That's all I'm gonna say. It's very strong here. And I just washed my face, I just showered. I We have like a orchid tour at three, sorry, and it's like 20 minutes till three. So I'm gonna change really quick and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Sandy Lang tonight. Or today because we're gonna just take some pics around the hotel and like walk around the town Ooh, wow i am breaking out like literally breaking out it's crazy um and yeah we did Machu Picchu today literally loved it such a good experience like literally unbelievable and amazing and i love hearing about like the history of places and it's just like unbelievable i used to be such a big fan of like world history like that was my thing so like going to these places are just like it's like full circle for me and makes me want to travel more and see more of the world it's like i just feel like in america we're a little bit like in a bubble and there's there's just so many beautiful cultures and countries and like languages to be a part of so i'm definitely gonna start traveling away more i mean i have a lot of plans for the summer i think but um i'm really excited so hi vlog hunka helped me take some pictures and we just did a orchid tour and this is what i'm wearing full sandy liang i love you guys they fitted me up for peru and now we're gonna go get some tea that they make naturally here. Um, and yeah, I'm wearing also a sandy bow attached to my braid. Hi vlog. We are getting to the train station now and we are going back to Cusco. For two free days before we Two leave. free days. Ooh. Before we leave Peru and then we're going to Miami, which will be a separate vlog because I feel like this vlog is already so long. <sighs> but we've had so much fun in Machu Picchu and I'm exhausted. I have so much work to do on the train, honestly. Thank you. 